Hi guys, I'm Phil Stirpy. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse. The AWS Toolkit is a plugin for Eclipse that makes it easy for developers to develop, debug, and deploy Java applications using Amazon Web Services. The first thing you need to do is come to this page, which is at awsamazon.com slash Eclipse. Now, in fact, there's nothing you need to download from this page. You simply need to follow these short instructions. So the first step is to get into Eclipse. Okay, I'm already in a workspace. And so now I need to go to the Help menu and select Install New Software. So this is where I need to put the URL in. And rather than type that in, I'll just copy that URL and paste it in here. Let me click Add. And as a repository name, I'm going to put AWS. I'll just wait for it to build up the list. OK, now rather than select the whole of the toolkit, I tried this earlier and had a problem with the SDK for Android. So I'm going to select them all. Uncheck SDK for Android. And the rest of these defaults I'll keep. Let's move next. So reviewing the items, yes, it's all of those I want. I'm going to accept the license conditions. That's fine. Click Finish. So I've just received a security warning, and I'm going to click OK to continue. It's all installed. Eclipse wants to restart, which is fine by me. Okay, so following the restart, just to finish off the install of the toolkit, I'm now being prompted for an access key and a secret key. Now these are credentials associated with a user in AWS. Now it's strongly recommended that you don't use the access key and secret key for the root account in AWS, and that you should create one or more IAM users. Now I do actually have an IAM user created. In fact, I created him in an earlier video. And I downloaded his credentials at the time. And here's the user, Frank. And these are his access key and secret key. So if I switch back to Eclipse and put in access key and then secret key we'll just imagine for a minute that I'm Frank and these are my credentials then really what I'm doing is I'm giving Eclipse my credentials the credentials for my IM user so that when I work in Eclipse I'm able to connect to AWS with those credentials and then carry out any tasks that I have privileges to do as we can see down here, we have the AWS Explorer. Currently, I'm using Eclipse as Frank and I've been authenticated as Frank in the AWS Cloud. Of all the services available in Amazon Web Services, the usual suspects are at the bottom. So SNS, S3, SQS, EC2. In other words, the services that it's assumed I'm likely to want to interact with whilst developing software. So perhaps I want to interact with buckets. Perhaps I want to interact with EC2 and list instances. Now let me take a look at S3. I'm unable to connect. Essentially, that's an access denied. That isn't a problem connecting to AWS. That is actually, despite the message, an access denied. Now the user called Frank does actually have permission to access an S3 bucket. Let me jump into the console to show you. So if I connect to IAM, and we'll go find the user called Frank, we can see there's a group called Developers. If I go find the group called Developers and look at the permissions, we can see that any member of this group has got permission to a bucket named QA Cookbooks. 
Now, unfortunately, the toolkit and therefore Eclipse can't work at such a low level. If you want to be able to access a service from within the toolkit, then you're going to need access to the service, not part of it. Now, I do have another group called S3 Developers, and if I look at the privileges there, it's full access to S3. Now, that's more than enough for Eclipse. So what I'm going to do is add Frank in as a user. Now that should apply straight away. I shouldn't need to now restart Eclipse for this to take effect. If I jump back to Eclipse and then click refresh, as you can see now on attempting to reconnect to Amazon Web Services, Eclipse has been authenticated as Frank and because Frank is now a member of the S3 developers group is able to view these buckets, create buckets, but would not be able to interact with any more of the services such as listing instances or AMIs. There you have it. In this video I've shown you how easy it is to install the AWS toolkit for Eclipse. Thanks for watching and please feel free to comment on my blog and Facebook page. Perhaps you could suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.